This is the best barn find I've ever had in a barn. 12 cars. If you like the 70s, if you like the late 60s, if you like muscle cars, stay till the end. And you also see some chickens. So it's a true barn find. Three floors in the barn with chickens. 60s, 70s, true muscle cars. Best we've ever done. You'll love this. It blew me away. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Happens with yeah, us. it does. And especially now, because all these cars have character. Oh, yeah. And I mean, no no offense to you guys who are designing the new cars. There's not a whole lot of care. I can't tell you the difference between, if, if I'm behind a Toyota, or a Mercedes, BMW, yeah, BMW, you know, if you took the badges off and put a gun to my head, I'd be dead. Because yeah, I would have The plastic no pumpers don't give it any distinguishing yeah, yeah. characteristics. So. I mean, these cars with hideaways. Yeah. Like I said, this is 68 with AC and disc power disc brakes. Yeah. And it's kind of unusual because it's not an XR7, but it has, and then it's a factory four barrel. So it's just so. somebody put the right things in the yeah. right boxes. Yeah, they, they wanted these options. They didn't want the XR7, but they got all the options of the XR7. And then of course, this thing is like the most classic oh, of yeah. Mustang. 70 fastback. 70 fastback. Don't and, mind the chickens over oh. here. <laughs> this is a true barn find guy. <laughs> if you want to know what a barn find is, here is, here goes the Mustang, and there's wild. 40 chickens right next to it going, hey, check it out. <laughs> Don't mess with our Mustang. This, this I bought for my wife. This was her anniversary gift a couple years ago. Wow. All so, original. Oh, I wow. do my best to keep mice out of them. I throw fabric softener sheets over, all over And them. you got some of the parts in here, but this... Yeah, some of the parts. I, I mean, even the seat, you got a little tear, but I mean, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all... Wow. It's not bad. Now that light hopefully is not a No, nah, no, nah, it's just sitting on there. <laughs> I was going to say, because I've never seen that option. That ain't factory, I know that. So, uh, oh, and it's even got the, the slots, the aluminum slots. Oh, yeah, the vintage slot wheels on. Yeah, this is, like a, this is like a Hot Wheels car. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, literally, yeah. this looks like a Hot Wheels. It's, it's got the louvers on the back window. This this thing here is, like, right out of 1979. Yeah, yep. I mean, I love this thing. I, if it's local, it probably went to the high school with me. Yeah. Somebody probably had it. Car. I wonder who owned it. This was a local car. So. I did have to, uh, the cam was wasted, so I, I did a cam shaft in it. I mean... I chromed it up, it's just dusty, but right. I put some chrome stuff, but I did this. Uh, no, this is, okay. Um, barn, okay, we're going, we're going. The barn's funny in here sometimes. Oh, uh, we're going, we're My good. wife said this place was built in 1840, and she says she feels something up on the third floor there. Oh, so tell me about the engine again a little bit. Uh, yeah, the engine's a three, it's the original 351 Windsor. Okay. Um, the cam, it was popping through the carb. Uh, cam lobes were worn, so I pulled the top end apart. I put a new cam and lifters, had the heads done, slapped it back together. She run, it's a runner. I mean, this is this is not even so, antique tagged and insured. When has this been? When was the last time this has been out in the road? Um, two years. Two years? Yeah, two years. It's been sitting. In when the was the last time it was clean? <laughs> two years. <laughs> two years. That's, that's, that's all. <laughs> I think years. the person that's... who wrote "Clean Me" yeah, on it probably was a year probably ago. a year. <laughs> oh. But, uh, but yeah, we were trying to figure out. We were going to do blue on the car. Um, the hood you seen downstairs was for this because okay. I seen some rust on this hood. Right. And the hood I have down there is really nice. I'd, I'd like to keep this hood and fix this. And it I looks can. like it. It is this one that could have been a shake. It could be a shaker hood could've too. Could have been a shaker hood because yes. it has the cutout for the yes. shaker hood. I don't think they do that on the repos, do they? Nah. The reproductions nah, don't have the nah. cutout like that. Waiting nope. in case because that was a Ford. That was on the the Ford assembly line where they would use the hood and it would either cut it out or it wouldn't right, cut exactly. it out. exactly, and that's why that, that template is there for them to just buzz that out. Oh, wow. So right here, it went, it went right around that seam and that rubber lip around the edge and then yeah. the shaker part sticking out. But and this car here is a 69 LTD. It's a chassis and frame. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's, a it's facing us. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's a frame and chassis. I saved it because the frame was in perfect condition then the body was was pretty rusty right but it only had forty eight thousand miles it was a four-door hard top with a 390 with factory air and power disc brakes power steering so i kept the frame 
and and uh, drivetrain set up for a future project. I might want to put something on this right. frame. It's a full size frame, a four door hardtop frame. So you ready to put anything? You didn't put yeah. a fifties body on there. Yeah, if you exactly. Wanted. It's I'm got... thinking like an old panel wagon or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Or oh, I mean, that would be cool. Something. You can make anything work with this. The long drivetrain. Yeah. Or that long frame. You can see I got that black XL interior over there for oh, yeah? the sixty-six extra fenders. Yeah, you got your you got a whole shop. Oh up. yeah, and there's two more. I got floors. I just started putting parts upstairs. I'm working on it. I'm trying to turn the hay chute into an elevator. So so when did uh when did when did you start like the collecting and doing this stuff? I mean, we all had a time. Was it? Um, did you I've always had a couple were you cars. were you doing it in, even in high school or, yeah, or whatever? Yeah, so yeah. when I was sixteen, I had five cars. Okay. <laughs> I always had more than one car. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a hobby. If I see an old car sitting and it's just sitting there rotting away, I, I, I try to save it. You know, even I might not do grab them and do a full yeah. restoration, but if it's sitting, I'll bring it home. I'll get it running. I'll go get it running and driving. Because somebody somebody's gonna want it, right? And that's right. like with me. That's what I, I like. That's what our channel's about. Right. Is kind of, you know. If if we find something, like say we came here and we found something, and you're like, look, I don't even know what to do with it because then maybe there's some guy in Wisconsin that's like, hey, you know what? If you're not going to do something with it, right? I've been looking for that car. Yeah, and that's, I've had a lot yeah. of people try to get this well, seventy months. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, guys nah, don't don't think, even. The yeah. the, and the Cougar, you yeah. know, like like I said, I tell everybody, everything in the barns usually it's part of my. Uh, yeah. My yeah, the only thing that y in this picture that's probably for sale is that light. Yeah, yeah <laughs> probably. And maybe that that's going to be a while. <laughs> so I got two of them, so yeah. I can part with one. <laughs> but yeah, I have. Uh, and the, so where's the red core? So you were just painting some of the pieces blue yeah, to well, see, yeah, just kind of get an idea blue. of yeah, what you were, yeah. what it was going to look the, like. The burgundy was already on there, and it, the car looks like it was an original. Like a, uh, so aquamarine color I found in the jam here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a couple of those up at the at Carlisle. Yeah, that that are that color. So uh, we're not sure, you know. I told, I said to my wife, "It's your car. It's up to you. What color you want to paint it?" You know, and and she knows how it is with cars. She's she's smart. She knows the originality is always the way to go. Right. So, but the blue, you know, uh, that blue I liked, but I didn't give her the car when I started playing around oh. with it, and then she started liking the car, and then I gave her the car. Right. Hey, you know what? The fact that you have a wife that wants the 70 mustang yeah that's yeah that's that's a winner right yeah there, it man. is it is that's that's like hitting a lot of twice don't care what i do with my cars <laughs> as long as she she's got her convertible mustang right. and she's got her tahoe for the winter time so she says as long as she can get to her chickens and there's and i left her a pathway to the there, chicken there you go so <laughs> every bit of space is utilized in here there you go this like, like Look. I said, the, the third floor, I just start bringing parts. I can get more organized if I get all my parts up to the next floor. And I have more room to do stuff. So this is an old hay chute here. Okay. And this this barn's got to be, what, a couple 1840. hundred? 1840. 1840, Jeez. Yeah. So this hay chute I'm going to open up. Okay. And I'm just going to have like a railing around it. But this goes up to the fourth floor. I want to be able to use this to bring parts up and down. Now, gonna... is this a family? Like, is this a generational farm for you It was up until we got it. Okay, so you guys. Up until we got it was. Yeah, okay. we we're the new owners. The, the woman that lived here was 99 years old. Wow. And her sister lived here with her. She's still alive. I believe she's 101. But uh, it was just too much for them to take yeah. care of anymore. Well, unbelievable. I mean, guys, if you're going to have a... Oh, there's a more shop. parts over here. Oh, we're going to come check them out. But I said, if you like this stuff, uh, just keep subscribing and letting me know so I can keep finding this stuff because I'm happy to go out. And, you know, the thing is, I'll bet you 100 to 1 that there's people within three miles of this house that have no idea yeah, there is, there. that of what is going on in this barn. And they probably will never know. But that's one of the reasons I do this because everybody's proud of their cars i mean mary you could just tell in your voice dude you are proud of like all this yeah, stuff even though they're not done it's just having them as yeah. part of it you know and so that's the thing wow so it, here's the parts the, here's the build sheet for the chevelle oh, wow, there you go. <laughs> people ask do you have it i'm like it's right there if yeah you can get anything off of it <laughs> it let us know but that's the original back seat i have the original bench seat um i got some more chevelle stuff upstairs right. parts you got the, I mean, oh, yeah, you this, got so much this stuff is here. Most of this is Mustang. 
Yeah, you just gotta watch your leg yeah, crackles yeah. around here. Uh, Mustang parts. Uh, I got the front end for my Cyclone. I have oh, yeah. extra grills for the Cyclone. This is uh, and the, the Montego grill. Okay. This is the Montego. The grill, I have the grill with the center, but that's right. wrapped up and put away because they are You'll so You'll never hard find to, it. No, and when you do, I bought my Cyclone in 2011 for $1,000. And when I bought it, there was an ad on Craigslist, and this is a true story. The ad said 1970 Mercury, $1,000. That was it. Right. I called the woman up. I was like, what kind of Mercury is it? She goes, I don't know. It's big and orange. And I said, big and orange? Give me your address. And I, <laughs> I drive two hours away, two and a half hours away with two of my buddies, and we get down to the garage, and she opens the garage, and it's a Cyclone GT. And then... For as I'm looking at it, and we get the hood open, I see the finned aluminum valve covers, and I'm like, they're Cobra Jet valve covers. And then I start looking at the code at the head. It's a Cobra Jet. It's a 429 Cobra Jet. Turns out that it's a spoiler, not just a regular Cyclone right. GT. It's the spoiler edition. Thousand dollars. Wow. The issue was her husband bought it in '82, and they towed it from the back. It had because it had the 430 drag pack rear. They left the ignition key on which left, it was on the column, right. which left the steering wheel unlocked. And when they pulled out of the guy's the street, the car went sideways into a pole. Uh. Right on the pillar, hit where the fender driver's door and fender meet. The guy was so pissed off, he put the car in a garage and went hunting that, that weekend. His night before, the day before he's coming home hunting, he trips and falls when he's walking around and the rifle he has in his hands has a defect in the trigger. It goes off in his face. Oh he lost god. his eyesight and three fingers on his right hand. Oh my god. So the car sat. And when I went to get it, his wife says, My husband said everything in the garage goes with the car. Oh my god. A couple transmissions, a nine inch rear, the <clears throat> engine hoist, his toolbox, everything. I gave her eighteen hundred dollars. I had extra right. money. I says it's too good of a deal. You don't realize what kind of car you have, right. even though it needs a ton of work. And uh that's how I acquired that cyclone. And it's not here right now, but there's a spot down there for it, and that's why I have to have to really, unless I'm going to put another building up in the back here, I gotta I gotta make my room for the cars that I really want to keep. And right. that cyclone is a frame off restoration that we're wow. doing, and wow, it's just got it was competition orange. Yeah, no, I know what they look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're it's a just, really they're, cool car. They are awesome. And that's the, these these are this is cyclone parts. This was that LTD frame that I have. Right. I have the front end with the hideaways over there. Oh, okay. It was a four-door hardtop. I got the front end, and I saved all the doors because hardtop doors are, are hard to find. Right. So I saved all that stuff. I, I got so much stuff up there. I'll tell you, you got... I do. I, I got to start getting a little organized. Yeah, this is something that everybody's like. Oh, oh yeah. Well, man, I, I wish I had that. I love the barn more than the house. That's what I'm saying. The when barn... we moved in, I said the house needed so much work. I was like, I don't care. The yeah. barn is usable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can buy a trailer. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Can't buy a barn. Nah. This barn, when I oh, seen man. this, I just was like, oh, finally I have room for all. Because I used to rent spaces right. here and there. That's and... what a lot of people did. They had to yeah. rent the little storage units, and they got their stuff yeah, spread off. Yeah, before you know, you got a couple thousand dollars out in storage yeah, and, it, and you could just use that for a mortgage. Yeah. And yeah. get, well, not one of these, because this is a little bit more than a couple storage spaces. Yeah, but, yeah. But, definitely, definitely yeah. a lot more than, than most people have for yeah. storage. Well, I'll tell you what, Mario. Dude. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting oh, you. Oh man, it's such a pleasure Definitely hearing pleasure. the stories, seeing hey. the cars, and yeah, yeah, and stuff. I, you know, so thank you for for oh, sharing no that with everybody, with the with the people. And like I said, if if you guys um, don't ask about the Mustang, but <laughs> but if there's some here and you're like you want to reach out to him, I will give yeah, you. A couple I'll cars. give I'll give him your information yeah. so you can message me or something and say, hey, I want to reach out to him about this or that. Maybe you have a part that he may need or something for the LTD yeah, or, or somebody something might need for something that I, you know. Yeah, so um, I'm sure you'll, hopefully you'll read the comments when this goes yeah. up. It should be up within the end Absolutely. of the week. And uh, remember, this is what we do. So subscribe, hit yeah. the button, like, share, brush your teeth, all the fun stuff. All our ca all so, car guys are the same, yeah. man. And uh, yeah, we're all this cut is from awesome. the same cloth when it comes to cars, man. Yeah, doesn't matter where you live, who yeah, you are, don't matter, who you are, don't matter how much live. money you got in the bank. No, nope. so nope. I mean, I started out with nothing, and then when I got I, I was married and bought my first house at 21, and I had a 67 Buick GS with a stage one 455 that we put in there. It was 750 wow. horse, it was a 10 second track car, and I used to drive it around a neighborhood with the slicks right. on it, you know. 
And when I got married, everyone was like, you're gonna have to get rid of all your hot rods because I still had a couple other cars. Right. And I did, I had to sell all my cars and bought the house, but I got right back to where I was. Yeah. I think once years. we get a little older, yeah. once you get in the relax, like I tell people, you know, if you have kids, you want to keep your kids off drugs, get them in the car. So they'll yeah, have no money for drugs. They'll exactly. literally have no money for drugs. The drug is the car. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> of course, you're going to have to have a barn or a garage. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, everyone, but... I get hollered at for leaving my 72 <laughs> Mach 1. That's only about 49,000 miles, and it's outside because I had to give up the space to work on the Chevelle. I needed that extra room to work around it. Yeah. And that's sitting outside. And that car is nice. It's it's a nice car. It's I haven't even drove it this year. I've been so busy. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, you're living a life, man. You're living a dream a lot of people have. Yeah, so. I try to. I try so, to. But I, worked, I worked a long time for this. I went through a lot of stuff. Well, this stuff ain't easy. I mean, yeah. that's the other thing where, where people think, hey, you just can go buy this stuff. Searching it, hunting it yeah, down, yeah. going driving to different driving states. Driving to get it. That was the thing. You know, you know, knowing what you're driving to get because it just, like you said, a description, okay, a paint, a year, a big car, okay, I think I know what I'm going to see. Right. So there's a lot well, the of knowledge. And, and the worst is when you get there and it's not described accurate. Right. Because I've been there, I've drove, drove states away and get there, and it, I, I lay underneath and I ask, I always say, how's the frame? And I, oh, the frame's great. And then I get there and it's like Swiss cheese, you know, and it's like, I just drove a long time, you know, and yeah. then, all right, I still want the car, but we got to work on the price because you told me the frame was solid. And that's happened a few times, but... Normally, most people are pretty accurate yeah. with the description. They're trying, or if yeah. they don't, it's not. They're not. They're right. Not they didn't lay underneath it to look like I'm going yeah. to lay under there with a There's flashlight. There's no duct paint with the undercoating spray on it. That happened to my brother. <laughs> that happened to my brother down in Maryland. They had they they put black duct tape and then undercoating on it. And I was like, I laid underneath it. I'm I'm tapping on the frame, and then all of a sudden my hand goes <laughs> like it's duct tape. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh man. I'll tell you. April. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.